So hey guys basically welcome once again to my channel once again guys this is your host Mr. Niamstra and today I am back with a new amazing video guys so basically you may already know that whenever you try to install a new custom OS or ROM basically or you try to flash your device and you get this error again and again that is the invalid IME problem you may have seen this invalid IME problem so I am back with a fix on how to basically solve this issue so before starting this now let me just tell you guys that this method is only for the MTK devices and make sure that your device is rooted before uh, starting this whole video up and we really don't need a PC thing to fix this up so I'll show you with no signal thing like this so I thought to make a video on this guys on how to be uh, solve this issue uh, instead of uh, going to the service center again and again so let's get started with this video guys so first of all what you need to do is just uh, uh, we note your IME number of your device itself so do not put any other IME so it may not really work so for knowing that what you need to do just uh, go ahead and just switch off your device guys and now what you need to do is basically just uh, remove the back of your battery and basically there will be your IME number if not if there it is not there you could just go ahead and check the power box of your device itself it may be there so as you could see if I remove my battery uh, basically on the serial code they will just uh, show you your IME number of your device so if you have a two uh, dual sim type then it will uh, namely IME 1 and IME 2 so just go ahead and just note down your IME number guys so basically this is my IME number now what you need to do is just go ahead and install the Champly phone I will just put the link in the description guys you can just go ahead and just download it from the play store and just give the required root permission it asks and once you have done what you need to do is just enter your IME number both and just basically just click on the apply new IME and just tap on change so that's it so once you have done with this if you are if it is showing you something like this now you are ready to go and what now really you need to do is just go ahead and just click on the reboot your device and that's it Once you have rebooted your device guys as basically you could see uh, my invalid IME problem has been fixed and it is now showing me my sim name correctly instead of the invalid IME and now let me just show you uh, clearly as you could see it is showing me my uh, sim name and not only that if I tap or as you could see the no signal logo is has been gone permanently so so that's it guys thanks for watching i hope this video is really helpful don't forget to like subscribe and comment uh, below if there if this video really helps it really means a lot so see you in the next video guys your host mr hamster signing out